Okay, back on this one here. I've drawn me a line down here to separate the head because I think I mentioned before I found that and I'm not the only one I've talked to other carvers the same thing happens to them is you favor one side when you carve so one side will be different than the other side so anyway that helps so then I'm going to draw my nose in and then the way the head's supposed to work is in real life Divide the head in half, divide the head in half, divide the head in half, and divide the head in half. And that's supposed to show you basically where the uh, features lie. Of course, that's not always the truth, but uh, most of the times it is. So anyway, that's basically what I did here. I carved this line here curved because it's kind of curved on his face. Now, I, that could be because he's the camera is shooting up at him from you know an angle that's say it's down in here somewhere. We'll find out here. So what I'm going to do right now is you can see I've outlined his hair. All right, and there's going to be some drastic changes to this head before we're done, but I, I still like to put the features in because that helps me when I'm doing the rest of the, the head. I brought my little uh, illustration board over here, of Setting Bowl and Red Cloud. I really like Red Cloud's face. The black and white photo here really shows, shows the uh, features, I think, a little bit more than the colored one. Same with this one up here. But again, you can see, although Red Cloud's eyes are a little higher on his, setting bolts really isn't. See, if you divided that and then cut it in half, it would fall about here. But his head still goes up a little back there. And his nose is there, and the mouth's there. So, you know, it's basically true. So anyway, what we're going to do right now is we're going to kind of set Set the nose here. Now on the nose, you can see you have a low point here, and then it comes just sort of angles up from that point. All right, so that's what we're going to do here. I'm just going to angle that up a little. here on the outside and we angle that up a little more. And then we can come in from the top. And you can see the nose starts to take shape. And with the nose, as you're bringing the nose forward, you're creating the eyes. 
back there. So let's just look at it there for a minute. He's running at sort of an angle, so let's just make sure we get that in there. Let me uh, head up here for a minute so we can see it up there so we can get you know kind of get our head structured to where it's like his all right This is a grainy piece of wood. See the grain in here? That makes it a little harder to carve. Your knife kind of goes across the wood when you're cutting it. it bounces across there. You can hear that when I'm hear it. You're all probably saying, boy, I sure wish you quit moving that thing around like he does, but that's just the price you pay for free videos. <laughs> this knife is ground in such a way that, you know, I have to rotate it around to make sure I'm carving with the right side, because if I don't, I'm going to end up cutting myself, and I definitely don't want to do that. nose a little more now. All right, you can see there's a dip right there, right where the eyes are. I like this this stage of the carving because you can see the character start to show up.
but he's got a pretty broad nose too. But I'm going to cut that nose down just a little because I don't want it too broad. This is sort of a semi-caricature maybe. Or maybe it won't be a caricature at all. Only time will tell. I think my stomach's growling. It's thinking about a chicken fried steak. Alright, so now we've got the uh, on the nose we've got let's see if I can find it. Actually, it's kind of a out of focus picture right there. We see these two little balls right there. They don't really show up much on these. There, there, it kind of shows right there, pretty clear. There, you see the round part, but not necessarily the individual balls. So, here you go. Try to get those in here. So I come from here. a lot higher than that one, so we got to get that fixed. Clean it up a little. I always try to clean things up as I go along. See these little things right there like that right there and then there's a tag there. Now's the time to get rid of them. Rather than have to come back later and do it. Okay, now we can clearly see the ball on his nose right there, right there in the middle. So let's get that in there. And here, when you're doing that, you can only come up here when you're cutting this area there. Don't try to go any other way or you're going to get yourself in trouble. And you can only do that down to that point right there and right there. This one's not down there. And then you have to turn the carving over and finish it. So, we had the nostril will be right there and right there. Can't see it. 
Mm -hmm. okay, your knuckles are in the way. My knuckles in the way. Right there and right there. So I don't drill a hole. What I do is I stick my knife blade in there like that. Then I come over here and take that little wedge out right there, like that. See there? It just creates a creates a hole that really isn't a hole. The shadow is going to give you the effect you're after. Now we'll do this on this side. And you want to clean it up. And as you're doing this, you're going to end up with a flat spot right there on the nose, and you have to get rid of that carefully. Because you definitely don't want that. And then we can kind of get the nose a little character. I'm not getting away with the evenly sloped sides of the nose. Okay, and where the nose the cartilage, that's this area right in here, meets the ridge of the skull, which is right there. You can come up like that, and then carve it down just a little. And that gives you, uh, can you hopefully you can see that? Gives you that profile of the nose. Can you see it there? They better show it better here. Now there it is. There you can see it pretty good. See, you've got the skull that right here, and then you've got the cartilage of the nose right here. Builds this whole area up here. That's just cartilage. There's no bone there. It's just. Skin and the cartilage, the cartilage that supports the skin. It's starting to look pretty nice. I, think. I always switch back to this little knife because I can make a sharp turn with its point where that thing there I can't because of the blade so so wide. But like I say, you want to clean up as you go along and that way you don't have to come back later and straighten things out. Watch myself here. Well, he's looking pretty good, I think. So, okay, let's concentrate on the mouth now. And I think that'll be about the same as, yes, dear. <laughs> Okie doke. Judy had to have a break there. Don't blame her. That little camera gets heavy after a while. All right, let's look at the mouth now. His mouth, boy, it really drops off here, right there. Now, this one here on Red Cloud, it kind of drops off there. So we want these lines. Let's 
starts up there at the top and comes down. Comes down. And we'll say that that's basically the top, so that's going to really drop off. so I can see it before I actually do it. They're throwing me off. Don't like that. Looks like he's got a smirk on his face. We don't want him smirking. Indians don't smirk. So we're going to drop this one. Farther down. now. Let's see. So let's go ahead and carve that feature in first. Starting at the top. really a strong feature. So I'm going to make it just a little bit stronger. Mm -hmm. That's that's the lip, that's the where the two lips meat right there. Okay. Let's draw my line again. And you'll notice that the that lip line doesn't go all the way to the frown line. It stops right before it gets there in the case of this. Now this one here is different. But I'm going to stop it right there. So I'm going to stab that right there. I'm going to make a cut right there and a cut right there to take that chip out. That's going to establish that corner. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. It's 
establish that corner. Now we're starting to see see that lip a little better. I'm going to cut this, I'm going to round this area here so it's not flat across the front. And the same thing over here. Draw my line back in. I think we just about got it there. So, now I'm going to take my knife. I'm just going to follow that line over to there. This line here is going to have a little extra, go a little higher than the bottom line. Let me get rid of my pencil line there. And the same with this one here. Now we're going to make this, you can see it on him pretty clear right there, that line right there. Right there. And then you remember I drew that pencil line here. That's how the muscle goes here, around like that, and then back up. So the first thing we're going to do is this. Take that. See how much... See how that really changed the look of that mouth? Just, just that cut. Alright, now we're going to take this line here and we're going to come down and we're going to meet up with that line. Lost. We established that. Okay, now we're going to take a little chip out of there. Chip out of there. And we're going to round this chin out a little more. And we're getting there. Now, here, the upper lip. Where the lips meet, the upper lip kind of comes down like that, and then the bottom one, bottom one kind of comes out like that and down. <laughs> Looks kind of strange. Right? So anyway, what I'm going to do here 
is right along the red line up there. I'm gonna kind of create that as much as I can. Finish this, we're going to go up the road to Benita, Oklahoma. Clanton's Cafe. Historical Cafe on Highway 66. Known for their chicken fried steak. And that's what I'm going to have for lunch. So if you ever go down Highway 66 and you come into Oklahoma, don't eat nothing until you get to Veneta, Oklahoma, which is not far from the Oklahoma-Missouri border. Place opened up in 19, I think it was the 1920s. It's been there a long, long time. They're famous for their chicken fried steak. There, now you can see the shadow across there that I created by scooping that, you know, turning that, turning it up there. And we can uh, come over here and kind of make this a little larger here. That turn, which will give us a better, better lip, lip look. call that little thing right there. Someone's probably going to tell me in a comment. I'm going to create that. Got that. I'm going to give him kind of just a little bit of divot right here. basically match that one up there. Like that. And we're going to give him a little ball here on the end of his jaw. Well, I think he's looking pretty good, I think. We've pretty well got that now. Don't you think? The secret's going to be... I'll show you how to change the secret real quick. The secret is these eyebrows. Look how much that changed things. That really changed things there. So that's going to be it for today's video. And uh, we'll come back in the next one and we'll work on the eyes and basically finish the face. Okay? And anyway, I was looking through my patterns. I want that and found this. So what we're going to do here, this is basically that, if we flip it. So I'm going to uh, flip this and we're going to use this. It'll look pretty good. Set, it, set his head down in there. Make this a little larger too. A little wider. Not necessarily larger. Just wider. Okay? So, until then, I'll talk to you later, and if you happen to be up in northeast Oklahoma, 
we'll be at the Vanita City Cafe of Clinton's Cafe having a chicken fried steak. Talk to you later.